Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Roy the Lead Hound, welcoming you back to another episode of the Minish Cap. So let's uh, let's go ahead and hop right in this minecart and see what else the Cave of Flame has in store for us. Because honestly, I can't really remember what comes next. I have to assume this is a small key, but uh, I just don't know. Yeah, okay, there we go. Small key. Cool, cool. Now, what do we do with it? Where is uh, the door that we would use it on? Uh, oh, right. Right in this room. Right on the other side. Uh, uh, yep, there it is. Okay. And this should take us down to the below the second floor. Basement. Floor two. Whatever. I, I think actually that's what that stands for. My mistake. Let's see. Uh, how would we want to do this? Uh, I guess it probably wouldn't matter. Um, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, oh, okay, we do need to shrink. Can I cross the tracks while I'm small? No, I can't. Okay, yeah, that, okay. There we go, that's what it is. So, I shouldn't move the tracks at all. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Uh, now. Carefully. And we can make it, yes. No human would be able to survive that. And, okay, that's what we're gonna be using that for. And it looks like there's some spider dudes that are going to be a nuisance. But for now, we don't need to worry about them. Where are those spider dudes? They kind of look like... What are these? Uh, we'll find out in a minute. But they are... Oh no! They're spinning blades of death that are going to chase me endlessly, apparently. I do not remember this. Well, this is a pretty cool enemy. Oh, that's funny. I don't remember this at all. Ah, cool. Alright, neat stuff, but uh, not really a big deal, and we can now continue on down to discover whatever is in here. Alright, so this is also fairly straightforward, we'll just roll up these roly polies and not do that. Put them all into the various crevasses in order to get the lever. That will then magically... Oh, come on. Come on, man. I can't push them either, so... That's more like it. That will somehow magically be connected to the area that we were pushing it in. Apparently there must be some sort of a plug on the bottom and in the hole. Not that I can see. But whatever. Maybe it just runs on magic and it only works when it's in this area. Now, what was up here? We got a brief glimpse of the room. Very, very brief. To this? No, but we can from the other side using the mystical cane of Packy that we received in the previous episode. And a kinstone piece, that's nice. So, what else is in here? Maybe I can't grab this. The keys is bothering me. How would I get to that? Aha! I see! Uh, actually, wait, no, can I do this? I don't think I can push this block. What I can do is enter from the other side. So, using my basic reasoning skills, I can get a blue kinstone piece. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I'll have to visit that hermit uh, when I leave the mountain because I might. I've gotten a bunch of pieces, a bunch of kinstones, and I might be able to trade with him. Now let's, uh, oh, dang it. let's flip it. Nice. Uh, the rocks stay flipped, but when the rock comes back, it will be spike side up again. I am pretty sure. Yes, there it is. All right, and there's the final portal, and we can already see the boss room, too. So we're already actually uh, nearly done with the Cave of Flame, which is a little bit funny, because I thought it was more difficult than this. Oh, I could have made it. That lasts a little bit longer than I thought. All right big deal. But the one that I want to step onto after this is also spiked. So there we go. And just moving along nicely. Okay, well, this is moving a little bit slowly. Okay, good enough. That is good enough for me. And yes, okay, okay. Thing, so th this is going to be fine. Can move along here nicely. All right, but you need to be careful because you need to shoot the cane at the correct time. You don't want to accidentally flip over something you could already walk on. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, man, did I get on the 
this too early. No, no, no. Okay, I was going to say it was going the other way. I won't have time to make it to the other side. But fortunately enough, I did, so it's not even a problem. And I am still collecting rupees. So it's pretty, uh, or at least I, it's straightforward what we need to do there. All right, let's discover what's this way first. Ow. Ow! Okay, okay, come on. Oh, man! Oh, this sucks. Okay. Ah! Uh, it was a small key. It was a Kinsel piece. Okay, cool. So that was completely optional. Ow. Okay. That, that room was just for Kinsel piece, but you know what? It was worth it. I could actually look at my, uh, my Kinsel collection. Because I think I remember the shape that I need for that uh, weird old mountain that doesn't really help me, except telling me that I can bomb things when I already know that I can bomb certain walls. Is this bomb bombable? Is this, is this wall bombable? Uh, no, it apparently isn't, but whatever. I just thought I'd try because I was thinking about it. And this should be able to take me to the other side. Nice. It's kind of weird because I actually raised up there a little bit just because the sprite is still... I, at least the way I think it works is that the sprite is still technically counted on as on the level that you were on when you uh, when you jumped in the whirlwind. And, but still, so it has to adjust your sprite position just like that as you can see. So it just sort of awkwardly gives me 100 rupees when I really didn't need it. Thanks a lot. Whatever. That's okay. Just, uh, take me home, please. Or not. Or so. What was I down there for? Is this a new area? Isn't this the room I was in? Or, yeah, it is. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. This is a, okay, this is a different room, actually. The other room isn't adjacent to this one. I don't know. Uh, that's fine. More rupees? Or kinsto piece? Nice. Yes, more green kinsto please. Alright. Up here. Yeah, no, this is totally a different room. Cool. Or it isn't. No, it isn't. This is the same room. It's just way bigger than I thought it was. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Okay, we've got the big key. Wow. Wow, we made great time with this dungeon. I didn't... Nice. Alright, we're, we're already at the boss room door. I uh, Should I fight the boss this episode? I mean... Things are pretty short. Let's just go ahead into the boss room because we'll see that there are some pots. Uh, I think there's actually some fairies in the boss room starting now, if I remember right. Let's see. Because uh, this is one of those boss rooms where we have to, this is sort of like Bongo Bongo, where you have to drop into the floor. And yeah, there's a fairy. I already have a fairy in a bottle, though. All right, yeah, yeah, it's fine. All right, well, let's let's just try and fight this dude because I really like this boss. This is one, like maybe my favorite boss in the game. Yeah, I can't remember this dude's name, but uh, it's like Gar or something. Gar, 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 Sar, I don't know. But either way, he's pretty cool, and he has really good animation, especially for a Game Boy Advance game. Like, really smooth, and he's just really neat looking. So all you do is you use the Kata Packy to flip his shell onto its side. Then you can fight, you can attack the, uh, the gem in his back, which he apparently needs to live. And, uh, uh, you know, it's not a big deal. And then rocks will fall on your head. He expands the lava. He's actually a lot like, um, like, uh, King Dodongo. But, uh, it's fine. And then, oh yeah, and then he flame burns the entire room. And his, uh, his shell, you're not able to flip it right away. But you can flip it like this. And it should be an ultimate time we do that. Yep, okay. And the fire, it can't. So actually, the gusts are maybe a little bit helpful there. But it is cool too because the rocks, if they fall on the fire, they will in fact put the fire out, which uh, which makes sense. And the lava will clear the flames that are on the ground too. So now it's worry about here. Now, now Gar guy will uh, shoot the stuff. He kind of looks like a Pokemon. Honestly, he's like, he's like Devil Lapras. That's what he is. All right, and then we can. Let the shell once more. Oh, and we're on fire. And we're on fire, and our butt's on fire. There we go. Much better. And this should finish him off. No, he's still alive. Wow, this dude is one tough cookie. Now, what do you know? Um, okay, okay, okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay. The flames are coming. 
this way now. Uh, okay, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna feel like I need the ghost charge just to, just to get some of this stuff out of the way. Um, and he never, he never really changed the way he moved. He doesn't really defend his shell well. He just turned his head just for me to shoot his shell off, so whatever, man. I was, oh, okay, I was just missing one hit. My mistake. Oh, poor guy. A little, a little aggressive with Georgia and the other lava dragons of the Zelda games. And there we go, the element of fire. Hooray! We got it! You got the fire element! Flames bring light to darkness and warmth to all. The fire element is the embodiment of that power. Cool! Cool stuff, so where's that heart piece? And there's another heart container. And that is the Flame Cavern complete. Wow, we made some really, really good time with that. <laughs> Two episodes and we're out of there. I, I guess uh, it was just my mistake, because the way I... Well, hang on. Oh, that was hot. It was so hot, I thought my fibers would catch fire. Ah, but it's over now. I suppose we should go back and speak to Malari. Yes, yes, indeed. But I remembered it being way harder to flip the uh, the boulders that you ride on. I remember it being, being way more difficult. Uh, but I guess I was a kid, so, you know, whatever. It wasn't that difficult. Alright, so we're back in Malari's mine. We have the element of fire, and it looks like Malari is in fact finished working on our sword. So, we'll take care of that in the next episode. Uh, thanks a lot, Malari. Uh, we'll get to you in just a moment. So, uh, thanks for watching, and next episode we will be heading back down the mountain. Also, actually, there's a few things we have to finish up. Uh, in fact, on Mount Krennel, because uh, there were a few secrets which we needed the cane of Paki to unlock, and now we can take care of that. So that'll probably be what we're doing next time. Thanks for watching.